Everything is number. Pythagoras said that. Look, this is a number. It's a word. It says Chekvar. Well, look, you have C, that's a 3. You have a Z, that's a 26, or a 2 and a 6 is an 8. You have an E, which is a 5. So right off the bat, you have a 3, 8, 5. And then you have a C, H, V. Well, okay, well, your C, again, 3. Your H is your 8. Your V is a 22nd, but then V, A would be 22nd in the first letter is a 5. So this is basically saying 3, 8, 5, 3, 8, 5. V A R. R is the last letter. Oh, that's an 18. Like a circle later, like two eights. So it means like 3858, 3858 in kind of a certain point of view, or it means 7716 in a certain point of view. Once you have a frame of reference, then you can have a point of view. Now, my point of view is pretty awesome, okay? The symbol for a swastika exists for a reason. Great. Now, if that two-dimensional depiction on an XY grid has a template behind it or a matrix behind it. You ever do linear algebra? Linear algebra, I think it's like what, grade 12, 11? I don't know. Linear algebra, yeah. Math with letters. Oh my god, let's everyone lose our minds. Once you weed out those people and the retarded people that stay in the maths are left, then, you know. No, I'm just saying class sizes dropped when you started introducing letters in your math. Linear algebra. Okay. You have a matrix. Great. What did I do yesterday? I added up the four white space quadrants of the Reckoner. And it was 4251, way above 3858. But what do I say? It's all about dimensions or layers or how many times is it in a bubble. Okay. A four can be a circle three. It could be a doubly circled two or a triply circled one. So when I sum the numbers in the white space and it's above 3858, I took away all the cells involved. I took away all the number of numbers involved. I took away the sum when reduced to a single character for each cell and added it up, subtracted that. I subtracted the letters in the alphabet used for the Roman numerals, and I know that maybe O and 1, I used 15 and 9, because O is a 15th letter and I is a 9, so, you know, boom, boom, V, C, D, you know, add them up. Got like 53. And then when you were reducing stuff, I kind of thought, like, yeah, like, when I added it up earlier, and then I saw, okay, well, there's like a 10 here, 10 here, 10, and 11, 11, and I was like, okay, I need 52, that kind of made sense, but then when I found my correction in the math, I was like, well, you know, X and L are kind of important, because they're in the parts of the swastika that are not the white space, and X, it's like, you know, it's base 10, let's say, let's just go with base 10, X marks the spot, and one down and one over is an L, and L's 50. 5 to 1, base 5, base 10, kind of thing. It just seems like a natural progression. So I find it an interesting synchronicity that the sum of the white space on the swastika minus the number of cells minus the number of numbers in the cells minus the sum of the numbers reduced to a single digit for the cell summed minus the letters used in the Roman numerals minus the denominations of 10 that are not accounted for in the summation of the reductions because I'm trying to account for everything and I don't think there's anything else I can account for like other than like zeros counting as circles with slashes in them but for this purpose I am not looking inside of a bubble when I see a bubble I'm looking at the cell I'm not gonna go in and out and add shit that not not here not now okay The frame of it, 19,290. The white spaces, in a way, indirectly, end up to be 3,858. You have five pieces of information in a swastika because you have the swastika itself and the four white spaces 
which make up the other cells that are not used. You have the black space and the white space. Coincidentally, from a certain point of view, the four white spaces are one-fifth of the black space. Hmm. Now that's just a moderate coincidence, I think. But I, I don't think that. I think that, you know, this is probably known by people. I don't know who. I know that that Reckoner exists. I'd like to see it somewhere else with the same numbers and shit. I like to see all the stuff. It's probably in some like weird Vatican thing. I think you just heard like the Vatican opened its vaults or something. Send me to Vatica. I I just don't know if I couldn't spit in the Pope's face. He's like in my mind if religion holds the secret and it's not using it to make free energy for us, then you're enslaving everyone and purposely keeping evolution at bay. I can't seem to spin that in my mind in a positive way. Do you to see things like I see? Okay, religion is, yeah, not all it says it is. You gotta look at the dots and the lines, maybe. So, um, yeah, that's really cool. They all came yesterday. Hmm. Got to look at the rest of it. Glorious Bastards. Uh, lots of songs. I have like a, a. I had a list of songs and movie clips I wanted to use in these, but really I don't have the energy because I don't have the time where I can spend leisurely editing video for you to make a point easier to understand or something. You know? The fact that I don't have time to do this for you hurts you, not me. To understand how to add when you have a frame of reference. Hmm. I'm not going to do all the words in all the languages. People are going to have to step up here. Now, I don't know if this is how people normally derive this in their clubs of shit. Of you know, uh, the jailers of life, let's just call them. You know, the reason... I liked Inglorious Bastards when he put the mark of the beast on their forehead was that every time someone else looked at that person, they'd know who they are. What about now? You have the Jews and the Gentiles. You have our masters and the Goya, or the slaves. It's they live. People that know this, people that don't know this. And there's no in between. It's a one or a zero on this fact. Now, when the zeros turn into ones, because you know you're circled. Now that's why I like the, um, the pen I have. <clears throat> okay. The reason that the chakras are properly depicted here are because, you know, I want you to see that one. Why? It says midget. Oh, this is a fail. Anyway, if you reverse the chakras on your you know, human body, everyone thinks like the violet chakra is where your crown chakra is, but that is not the case. In this depiction, it's the red one, and that one makes more sense together. Because in the classic depiction where the red is your feet, it symbolizes the root system that connects you to the earth and your oneness. But you need to know that the center of the celestial sky in our cell of the earth is where everything gravitates. So if you if you now understand that the root system of a tree, which is what they're trying to say is your feet making roots to the planet, as like everything else makes roots, and that's how your oneness. Now think of a non-linear, invisible, one-dimensional line coming out of your crown chakra, traveling among some path in our cell to go and eventually end up at the center, just like everything and everyone else is light. Now when you think of it that way, that's how you are 
grounded. And that's the whole concept of oneness. So, if you don't understand that, then I don't know what to say. So, everything that you know is upside down, backwards, and or flipped. It's not my fault. You just gotta see things from a different point of view. And I really like numbers. If I had time, I would do more work. It's as simple as that. But since I have to work to do all this, like I literally feel like I'm paying for like a prison cell at this point. I don't like to leave. <sighs> they make me, I have to. Seriously, I don't want to go to work today or tomorrow. I want to work on this. I want to do this over and over and over again. I want to start at the beginning all over again. But you know what? Working hard day, doing everything, trying to keep myself alive and clean and fed and not exhausted and sore. Don't really feel like doing this. No, it's coming really like second, like it's, it's, it's like the back of my hand at this point, the reckoner and everything. I'm just, it kind of, kind of is kind of cool when you set out to do something without even knowing how or if it's possible to do it and then you just do it takes a couple tries. So I made that mistake on the 24 instead of 26 it should be, but I knew there was a mistake. I just knew there was a mistake in there. I didn't know where. But oh, it still works, I think. 174, 74 is an 11. I'm trying to hide the tens. Because you count uh, 174 as reduced as 111. It's like when I take all my numbers. If you have like a 314, I take my 134, and 3 and 4 is 7, you're left with a 17, circle 7, 8, 17, whatever. But that's how the 91 doesn't work. Because if you reduce it to 91, it just becomes a 19. You don't touch the 1s. Touch the 7, touch the 4. You touch the 5, you touch the 5. You get a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 all in the white space. There's this magical 50 you need at the end. It just... Explainable, explainable degrees of complexity. We start with a random number, 4,251. And you can basically figure out how to finagle it to mean 3858. Either I'm the greatest... I don't know, what is it called? Traveling salesman or snake oil sales salesman? But that was my dad. He was really good at that. Like... He could sell ice to an Eskimo. But either I'm that or I'm just calmly speaking in common sense about something you have no idea about that is learnable. Like, I'm not going to go into the derivation of that because even I don't know it right now. It's been so long ago that I've been just like, continuing off it. Like, I have it, I guess. But, I mean, like... I, don't, I, I couldn't even tell you the, the, the theorems for the, like it goes all ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Fibonacci, then one, two, like, I don't remember those. I think it was like flashback math and crucifix code, but like, pff, that's why I make these. But anyway. Yeah. Think for yourself. Kind of feel like Rick. Don't be like everyone else. Don't be a moron. Start thinking. Sorry if that's harsh. Like, if you could, could you try to think a little, please? Pretty please? Sorry? Ottawa? So sorry. Doubly sorry. If I could remember the theme song for that game and be like, sorry, and had the, the, Ball, the dome, the bubble, the sorry bubble. You're living in a sorry bubble, my friend.